Hey guys, welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video and today we're going to be talking about improving your performance and visuals within the game, raising your digital vibrance to give your colors a little more pop. That way you can see your enemies and or other features within the game with a little more clarity and a little bit more color. This is something that I have used uh, over the years over several different games and I found it to be kind of useful particularly for individuals with maybe older rigs like my own. Now, I may not go into all the specific details of each of these particular things that you can do, but I certainly want to go over some of the things that I do to prepare to play the game each time I load up. Let's go over some of the settings that I typically use before I do any sort of gaming and the processes that I use to help with game performance. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is go down to your start menu and make sure that you have this PC. And as you can see, I have mine up here in the top left hand corner going back to the old school days of Windows 95. So you want to make sure that you have access to this PC. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on this PC. And we're going to right click on the actual drive itself and go to properties. In properties, we're going to do a regular disk cleanup. Now, this is something I do each week on my computer as I do a regular cleanup. Now, it's a little more extensive than what I'll cover here. But for the purposes of this video, what we're going to focus on right now is the DirectX shader cache. What you're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and select that if it is unselected. And you can go ahead and just unselect everything here just uh, so that you're not deleting things that you may want to keep particularly all those individuals who use your browser default to download. You want to make sure that this is unchecked. I want to emphasize that. Make sure your downloads is unchecked because if you're using your browser as default downloads, then you might lose some of your material. But mostly what we want to concentrate on is direct shader cache. So go ahead and then once you have selected it, go ahead and do a clean up system files. And any shaders that you need for your game will repopulate each time you play. If you're familiar with this, uh, basically the shaders help with performance and actual loads of material within the game that you need as you're playing. So you don't have to be concerned about emptying the shaders and missing something. They will load on their own again. So you'll come to this second window where you will select direct shaders again. Make sure that downloads is unchecked for you guys that use that as a default and then hit OK. And this will go ahead and clean up the shader cache. And when you boot up your game, it will load whatever necessary shaders that it needs. Now, at this point, what you want to do is go ahead and reboot. Now, I'm not going to reboot for the purposes of this video, but I'm just saying you'll need to go and reboot. Now, also, going back to your starter menu, if you don't have NVIDIA already selected somewhere in your startup or in your, or in your tray like I do, then you're going to want to go to the start menu and type in NVIDIA so that you have both GeForce Experience and NVIDIA Controller visible here because you're going to want to go to both. So the first thing I'm going to show you is in the control panel, what I do to give the game a little more pop, a little more color, and help with the silhouette of uh, the enemies and games so that when they are highlighted or there's an icon above their head, you can see it with a much more clarity. So what I do here is uh, I go into the adjust desktop color settings in the NVIDIA control panel. And I typically crank this up to about 60. Then to compensate for that brightness, I then change the contrast to 57. Now, depending on your monitor, depending on your eye level that you sit at that monitor, this may not necessarily be necessary for you to crank up the brightness, whereas I like to crank it up in some of the games because of the darkness and uh, that you can experience while you're playing. And then down here in digital vibrance, this is really going to be the difference maker here. I usually like to crank this up, put the hue back to default. I usually have to crank this up to about 68. Now, as you can see here on the right, you have this color pattern that you can use. It kind of gives you the uh, gives you an impression of how bright the colors are going to look. And you can make these adjustments however you like based upon your monitor, based upon your gameplay. But these are usually the settings I use, usually 60 brightness, 57 contrast. And digital vibrance at 68 usually gives me, you know, a pretty decent amount of color. Then you're just simply going to hit apply. Now, I'm just going to go ahead now and just show you that I'm going to return these back to default, which you can do after your gameplay. So we're just going to restore default. While we're in the control panel, I want to go up and talk to you guys about managing the 3D settings. Another little thing you can do in managing your 3D settings is go down here to 
power management mode and by default this is on optimal power so what I would suggest you do is go to preferred maximum performance that way you're gonna get a, just a little bit more of an optimization to your gameplay and I usually leave it and set it to uh, perform maximum performance for most of the time so that's basically what you're gonna do here in the control panel if you want to make those adjustments and settings the next thing I would uh, encourage you guys to check out is to go to your uh, Windows start menu and settings again then go to the gaming setting and here we're gonna go to game mode and turn this on now it does say here that when game mode is on Windows optimizes your PC for play basically what it does it kind of prioritizes what's running in the background and minimizes or reduces those things that aren't necessary so another little tiny tweak you can do to help your game performance Another thing you can do is if you are a you know recording gameplay like I do is to this is a GeForce experience by the way guys go into your GeForce experience go into settings and what you want to do is in video capture go ahead and manually set it to 1080p or your preferred settings and then 60 frames which is my preferred settings because if you go into the default it may use up more of your um, performance and you know PC power to be able to uh, do your recordings and I find that doing it manually you usually save about an additional five frames as you're recording so that's something you can do if you guys are recording if you're not recording or if you're running an ATI video card then obviously these particular things that I just demonstrated aren't going to be as significant to you so let's talk about what can be significant to you what I would encourage you guys to do also is um, I will leave a link to this down in the publish section this is intelligent standby list cleaner you can go ahead and download it and just run it by default the application will monitor and clear memory standby list according to the configuration or the configured options uh, parameter that you set now I would say leave it at default and what this is going to do of course is kind of help with uh, uh, just to clean up clear up your memory because some of the games of course can have uh, different coding in it and so forth that runs in the background you know bad coding can can lead to uh, a lot of uh, bad uh, performance and memory problems so I find that standby the standby list does seem to work really well for me and let's see I thought I had it up but let's see we'll go ahead and just run it so you guys can kind of see what it looks like when it's running so we'll go ahead and pull this up it will need admin uh, permission and then once here guys just leave it by default I don't make any changes to it whatsoever and then of course you're going to want to click start and then just minimize it down into your tray and that's another thing that I would suggest you guys do too if you're running anything in the background as you're gaming minimize it into your tray don't leave it down here as I have it you know for this for this demonstration I'm using voice meter by the way to help enhance the the microphone which is a different video altogether but Nonetheless, guys, give those particular settings a try and see if those things can help you out. If you have any questions or concerns about any of the programs or setting changes, feel free to ask me down in the comments section. But for the most part, these are very straightforward. You guys are probably very familiar with it. Most gamers are PC savvy, so you guys will have some sort of knowledge as to what I just went over and what I covered. So you know obviously I didn't want to go into all the little nuance and specific details just something that I go through to help with performance and so guys I would encourage you now to click on that like button if you felt that this was helpful and informative and of course appearing there on the screen that would be the obligatory icon that you can click on to subscribe along with notifications if you are following this channel or would like to follow the channel on gaming how to's and other content that I cover here and so guys I really hope this helps you out leave me a comment down in the published section below of course if you have any questions or concerns